gold now we are based on daily chart we want to analyze the chart further next week okay as we can see for gold when we comparing these two and we're referring to the indicators we will see based on this one we have a divergence and based on the second one we don't have it okay now the thing says this means we have two different information now the question is whether this is the this move is finished now we can look for the that means this is the start of the up move in that case that means we have only this correction okay one two three in relative to this that means now we discard this move is finished now we can look for the start of the up move and how high this one can go whether this is the start and we can expect the price to come to this high or we will get one more the price come here then this correction will be different that's mean we give the price we can expect the price come to this high for the next drop okay anyway we cannot right now confirm which one is the correct and we cannot say this is the only correction we have it and this correction is finished because we have the this possibility as well the price can correct as I as I just now mentioned similar to this or this for the next move down and that's mean in that case we can expect the price moving within the channel okay correcting within the channel anyway now the only things we want to know we want to see how we can trade within this okay whether we should look for buy for the next week or look for sell in this case we move to lower time frame forwards okay based on forwards the only things we can see is this the price we have sharp move and now we are within this one the price moving up is uh, it's, it's still a skip up move but it is not fast is in terms of the corrective how long I mean can we expect the price next week continue similar to what we drawing here similar to what we had here if similar to this move mostly we can look for one move down okay may I show you as example similar to what we have but this is in compared this one is very small how about if the next week we get similar to what we have here we get here because mostly this source of the correction with the sharp move can give us a very sharp move down I mean the sharp move the price up uh, sharply move up give a correction similar to what we have here and here okay now the question is whether next week can we expect similar to what we have here repeat here okay that's why if we get any sell setup in term of the risk and reward can give us a very good trade but now the question is when the market open what we will get here whether we should look for sell down move sell or we will be within this correction or the price can sharply move up give a correction that's mean we can look for buy okay now the thing is we don't have much more information here based on forward chart we need to wait them when the market open from there we can confirm then we move to lower time frame one hour okay based on one hour no first things I mentioned the possibility next week the market move similar to what we have here continue similar to what we have here okay if market move within this range similar to what we had here mostly whatever the buy setup we get is based on lower time frame and we call we will I mean will be short term buy okay because it's moving up but in terms of the corrective that's mean if this one continue what we are more expected down move it can give us a really good trade okay now how we're going to trade it first we talk about the sell what I want to say that is the first option for the sell is when the market open whether from here or the price move higher any sharp move correction I mean the small flag when I say correction we can look for sell this is the only way we can trade for sell based on what we have here and when the market open continue similar to this correct similar to this if the structure change we need to look into it differently but right now from what we have here next week any weather from here the price higher any sharp move correction we will take the trade may I show you an example similar to what we had here exactly that's mean what I wanted for the next week if we get we want to see whether we will get this one or not 
sharp move correction next continuation okay if we get any trade similar next when the market open from here or i mean from better from here or higher we get we trade it no the question is this is the first option no the question is whether i can consider this one with this and when the market open i should look for sell it depends okay i cannot say when the market open we put the entry here for the sharp move because this one can be quite risky that's why i mentioned when the market open whether from here or higher if we get any sharp correction we can look for sell i didn't mention this one but this one also can give us a trade when the market open okay but as i say it's quite risky when the market open we look and we look into it we, we see whether we can trade or not may i show an example here okay see what we are because just now i mentioned i highlight we are going to trade if we get this one and sharp move correction and this situation just now i was highlighting the price move the highest level drop correction now we want to talk about this whether we should trade this or not that's why i mentioned it's quite risky also we had here see the price move high this is the first correction the price drop this is the second correction now the quest the, what i want to say is there possibility when the market open we get this one and this one if we move here okay that's mean this one will be similar to this okay now what i want to say whether we should look for sell from what we have right now when the market open may we get similar to what we have here it depends on the traders whether they can manage or not the reason is because when the market open is the first of first day i mean just is like when the market open is the first day of the trade may the price sharply drop you get the trade but reverse that's why i won't say we will trade this one i will say we will look into it when the market open okay that's why i only highlight this one i said whether from here the price sharply drop we get the correction we look for sell or the price move higher or any other way we get the sharp move correction we look for sell okay anyway when the market open how we going to trade look for sell as i just now highlighted and whether we want to trade for this we need to see when the market open whether we should look for sell from what we have right now here or not okay this is how we're going to look for sell and if we want to look for buy the things is now we finish about the sell how we can trade the sell and as i say mostly if we get the sell from this correction or if even this correction continue can give us a really good sell setup because whatever we get will be sharp okay and what i want to say for look for if you want to look for buy from the what we have here mostly when we have this kind of the correction any buy even continue similar to what we have here similar to this any buy will be short term buy that's mean based on lower time frame and as long as we get into the trade we get into the profit we need to start to manage it okay the first things if we want to look for buy i prefer at least the price sharply break the at least the stop from what we have give a correction then from there we look for buy this is more safest way okay this is how we can trade for buy but how about if the price continue similar to what we have here as i i mentioned based on lower time frame we will look for short term buy setup okay and right now we don't have any other way to trade for buy okay because now the thing is whether we want to this one considered as a channeling that's mean where the price can move within this channel or not we are not sure we need to wait the market to open okay the only way we can look for buy i mean the another option is if the price drop from here and the price didn't continue it's like better from here if the market the price drop or the bit higher drop but we see is not moving past it's just correcting 
at that times maybe we can put this one as a correction then from there we look for buy that's mean the first option for the buy again let the price break this high give a correction we look for buy the another option is whether price from here or a bit move higher if price drop but this is not moving fast it's correcting at that times we put this as a flat in relative of this one two three for the next move up that's mean if you wanna look for buy let the price drop how deep it can go we are not sure even there is a possibility the price can break this low that's mean become here before we get the move up okay that's mean if you wanna look for buy let the price drop how deep we are not sure when we see the price is not moving I mean down move is not very strong this is correcting then from there we get any buy we get we take it okay because at that times the reason I said how deep it can go we are not sure before we take the buy because if we put if the price break this low that's missing similar to what we have here we get the different type of the flat okay sorry it should be here okay we get the different type of the flat which is expanding flat and relative to this but how about if the price come drop but didn't break this low we will have a different type of the flat okay that's why how deep it can go we are not sure anyway the another option the second option for the buy let the price drop this is not moving correcting any buy setup we take it and as long as the price come to this level we start to manage it and as I mentioned again I'm repeating if the price uh, the, the, the corrections repeat I mean similar to what we have here continue then any buy based on lower time frame will be short term buy anyway we don't have any trade setup right now it depends on the chart when the market open it depends how this one behave even we mentioned for the buy and sell how we can trade it and we just follow the chart and when the market open if I see any trade setup then I will share on YouTube thanks